Okay, here's another addition to the SZR um, that I've added along with the chain oiler I put on previously. Um, I wanted to add on a heated grip switch. I had this temporary switch just hanging off the bike. Um, but I wanted something more permanent and something that could be expanded. So, relatively cheap parts, about 7 euro. Uh, 40 by 40 mil ABS box uh, rubber grommet to feed in an 8 wire and um, bit of cable and a micro toggle switch and um, so like I say I can expand that put three more toggle switches on it um, but at the moment it's just a one toggle switch for the heated grips um, in order to get it into a very constricted space um, I mounted it right in front of the uh, clamp for the brake lever. Um, the original clamp uses a piece of aluminium, uh, which I may have. Okay, so here's the original aluminium clamp. Pretty generic Japanese clamp. Um, so I made a stainless steel replica of that with an extended section that's shallower, so it takes up less space. I wanted good clearance between the bars and the tank, um, which there is. Yeah, there's no clearance issues there. And um, so, of course, the problem is, how do you take off the uh, the brake lever if you want to work on it? Well, if you open up a hard drive, a mechanical hard drive off a computer, you will typically find some neodymium magnets, very, very strong magnets like these. Okay, so they are off hard drives. They come in a pair. They're used to center the spindle that reads the platters. So, what I did was I took two of them out, used some epoxy, to stick it onto the element, the stainless steel, roughed up the stainless steel so it would uh, stick on, and then put the mirror side on the other side, roughed up the plastic, stuck it on. So, as you can see, that sticks on there. It's quite strong. Once it's on, there's no move there. It's rock solid; it doesn't move. Position, and it, positioning is quite good and um, you can flick your thumb like that like I say I can put another switch there another one there, another one there maybe a few LEDs clustered in the centre if I wanted to add them but it's a good addition and um, gives the bike flexibility I can add on extra functions, headlights, switches, that kind of thing so that's it so if anybody's looking to expand their uh, switch gear make it look reasonably well integrated take up no space and have the ability to uh, expand it. That's what I'd suggest. I source the parts from Farnell. Uh, the micro toggle switches are cheap. ABS box, very cheap. Rubber grommets, very cheap. I had the cable. Um, and um, it's easy to make. And like I said, the magnets are free. If you have an old hard drive, you probably do. And that's it. Okay.